Wow, I'm glad we've just got the bunnies in. <laughs> Hailstones. Sometimes you just need to come out and dance in it, dance in the storm. <laughs> it's been on the phone to mum. I think they're going to have to possibly move from where they live. Which is a bit, a bit upsetting. There's something happened with their, their lease and their contract where they live. But um, that's fine. I've just spoken to mum. I needed a few days to process it. And they're going to be absolutely fine. They're vulnerable, so they'll be housed. The council have, have got onto it. And I, I normally deal with all mum's affairs. But I said, you know, I had to delegate. I had to say to Kevin, my brother, that, he's, that he'll have to deal with it because it's too upsetting for me and I've got too much on but it's getting dealt with it. and I've spoke to mum and we're seeing it as a positive thing where she's at now in her lodge. There's no wet room or accessible areas or anything like that. So where she'll be housed, it will be, it will be lovely. I know it will. So Susie's my number one pr priority all the time. But I love you so much, mum. And I'll, I'll always be there to help, you know, right now, Kev, Kevin, the council and other, other people are going to have to deal with that for me. So, um, yeah, no more tears. It's, it'll be a good thing. Wow, this rain. Wow. <laughs> I better go back in. Oh guys, look at my client's chickens. You're so beautiful, ladies. What are you saying? Saying it's too early. Good morning. You all want to come out and play? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I'd love some chickens. Have any of you not got chickens? Let me know. Aren't they adorable? I'll be happy to know that I've taken my vitamins today. I just stopped for a caramel frappe. Frappe? Again, frap, frappe. Oh, it's nice. What day is it? Tuesday. I don't even know where yesterday went. I don't even know where the last week went. Right, got changed out my poopy clothes and I am on my way to see Sue's. I'm not sure what we'll do today, but um, we'll have a look and I don't know who's visiting today, but we'll see when I get there. Eurovision now. Did you? A cha cha cha. <laughs> no, I didn't watch it. I'm just sat with Sue's. 
Yeah, well, a lot of them are weird apparently this time round, but they all are, aren't they? Sue's been doing loads of crafting. And she's made so many little tiny bits. Look at the chairs. You have to upholster each chair. Little pan with an egg. Loads of little books. Little tiny plant. Again, let me put my hand there for reference. Oh my god. Look at the little pot. So that's been keeping her busy while she's been here. The books, again. That's how big the books are. And this is the same one that she bought me. Oh, it's not a picture on it. Hang on. Um, which I will get to do, guys, I promise. That one. I will start it one day. So she's just making some other bits now. Um, in a quiet mood today. Doesn't want to be. Doesn't want to be on show, which is fine. And it's a lovely day outside. Don't let the wind blow down. I won't. So Susie wants me to make the foliage. that foliage. She's made the pot. You're not even gonna. I'm Don't not. Touch it. Oh god. Oh my god. That's the pot. The flower pot. Oh my goodness. It's smaller than my fingernail. Uh, Ooh. Oh, careful. So I'm going to have attempt at making them that. I have to. F I'm guessing they're in here somewhere. Thought I'd sit outside and have a little chat to you today. Um, good news. Susie's coming home on Thursday. So they're letting her come home. She's got her pain medication under a, a lot better control. And they've assured us that it's been passed on to her GP and the pharmacy people her, her new dosage and her new meds um so that when she's sent home with a supply but when she gets home that will be sorted when she requests it again it'll be the correct meds fingers crossed and the correct dosage so she can carry on at home um so that is that is good news so that should be thursday somebody somebody commented that this channel was about Susie's journey and why is she not on camera? It, you know, I've just spoken to Susie about it and she said, this channel's not about her. It's about all of you. It's about saving you and helping you. She said, it's not about me, it's about everybody else. And I thought about it for a minute and she's right. And the, the other thing was, I started this YouTube channel with me talking to the camera about everything that was going on. Um, it was never going to be a circus act with with Susie in it. She she comes on. She's been in a lot of the vlogs, but she doesn't want to be on the camera. So I just I spread the word for her, um, and then all the other videos are just me getting through my day, me picking up the camera, even just nipping to the shop or doing my makeup or <laughs> making a cup of tea I video it it's because bizarrely you, you know 90% of you love to watch it um, but it helps me get through my day 
it sounds weird, but if I wasn't picking up the camera to film the things I do throughout the day, I would be on my knees crying. It's given me a focus, it's given me a purpose, it's given me something to do. Don't get me wrong, I'm busy anyway. I run two, two companies, a house, you know, animals, a husband. It's, I'm not sat around bored all day and I've got Sue's to come and see and look after and my mum and everybody. But it's been my therapy to vlog and log my day. And the more I've done it, the more support I've got, the more friends I've made. And the the more you've all helped me. So, you know, it's my channel. I, I put on whatever I want, but I, I also need to get through the message of what's happening to Susie, you know, and, and what's the, the failings and, and everything that have been done to her. I just wanted to say as well, you know, she's just had a nurse come in now and bring the prescription paper round, asking Susie what does she tick on the back to be exempt from from paying and that really upsets Suze because she doesn't want to be asked these questions you know she's she's terminally ill on palliative care it's not a question the nurse should have known that or shouldn't have asked her um, or should have asked me or somebody else so again li little things like that because it sets Susie off in a spiral because she's felt okay today and it set her off in a spiral of, oh my God, I'm dying. Um, which shouldn't have, shouldn't have happened. And it's, it's, it's little things like that that people don't think about. Which a lot of people wouldn't bring up. But I am, I am bringing it up. So that you can, you know, whatever line of work you do, you can, you can, you can change it. Um, something as simple as me going into Tesco to get that Nivea lip balm the other day. I walked down an aisle and we've come across this so many times in hospital and outside. Um, I walked down an aisle and I couldn't find, I couldn't find this lip balm and there was a, a shop assistant down there and I said oh excuse me I wonder if you can and she immediately said I don't work on this aisle. And I was just like, you know, I could I could have been saying to her, I've just won the lottery. I've just had, I've just had the phone call telling me I've won 108 million. And I just thought I'd give you half a mil. <laughs> I, I mean, that didn't happen. But all I wanted was to see if she could help me find a lip balm. And if she couldn't help me find it, maybe she could find somebody that could. But don't dismiss people. You know, if somebody's asking you for help or somebody's somebody said, excuse me, and they want something from you, take a minute. Because, you know, for that 30 seconds in, in Tesco, my life went a little bit, because it all hit home what I was going through and that, she, that the lady wasn't going to help me, which is a, a piss in the sea compared to what Susie's going through and anything else but me and Susie talk about this so much give someone a chance if they're asking you for help if you can't help them at least find somebody that that maybe can you know this channel it's it's not a negative channel it's not about negative things and anyone that is negative on it will get blocked and deleted it's about changing people's perception, changing how people view others, um, not getting angry at that person in the car in front of you that's dawdling a little bit because they might have just had some really fucking horrible news. Um, seeing somebody crying on the street, ask them if they're okay. You know, it's just about making a difference because she was ignored. Suze was ignored for far too long. You you might be that person that completely 
changes their life makes their life a little bit better for five seconds by telling them where the lip balm is or saves their life you know it can be as massive as it could be as massive as that so yeah just trying to to say i mean i couldn't i couldn't have hit on a better community of people that that i've built up with this channel every single day you lift me i've made literal lifelong friends that are on the other side of the world some are near some are here some of you are thousands of miles away and i, I bloody love you because you've you help me get through each day and if you you know the, the ones that don't want to watch me just doing what i do on a normal day don't don't watch it i don't really give a flying fanny <laughs> nothing matters to me anymore you can't hurt me no one will hurt me it's liberating as i say I can't be hurt anymore so susie is she's just waiting for another load of meds now um, and we're going to go and watch Tipping Point. I've got my car back. Yes! I'm so happy. Um, Mum and Kev are in a positive frame of mind. Whatever happens with that house move and blah de blah that, that will, will be what will be. And it's Tuesday now and Susie's coming home on Thursday. And if she needs to come back here then she's she's she knows that it's not a scary place you know she wants to come back here oh they've also said that she can come back any time for a bath because they haven't got a bath her and jason in their house they've only got a shower and she absolutely loves having a bath to relax in with her bath bombs and her bath pearls so they've told her to come back whenever she wants and and she can have a bath so that's really nice to know as well um occupational health are sorting out things for her to go home to make life easier when she's at home and um, yeah it's been a more positive couple of days those overwhelming terror fall apart moments still come of course they do of course they do for nobody more than Sue's I'm like you know she's all the time but she she's she's doing it But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little chickens earlier. I really want some chickens now. They were so cute. Just chatting away to me when I go every morning. They chat away to me. Um, but yeah, I suppose I better get into Sue's and watch Tipping Point. It's five to four. And she gets, she gets very angry with me if I don't <laughs> watch her game shows with her. Um, yeah. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Hope you had a lovely Monday. Um, I'm sending love to all of you that are going through it um, and all of you that aren't. And we'll see you tomorrow. One more thing I can't forget. Linda, Linda Reeswig. Reeswig, please tell me how you pronounce it. Reeswig. Um, Linda anyway we love you so much thank you for your super thanks you're a, an angel you're a sweetheart I'll do so much good with it um, make sure Susie's never out of bath bombs out of bath pearls out of anything she needs um, you're contributing to help me with the car um, yeah love you so much thank you